Hi everyone, how are you? It's Sarah McCauley here from Sarah McCauley Studio. I'm live on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. Hope you're well. It is 7 p.m. here in Sydney, Australia, and um, I would love to know who's on tonight. So when you jump on, let me know if you can see me, you can hear me, um, let me know my tech is working, and um, just drop me an emoji and let me know um, where you're coming in from. That would be great. I always really enjoy knowing where people are watching from. That's awesome. <clears throat> If you've just jumped on, this is Sarah from Sarah McCauley Studio. Hi, hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching. I'm on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page and I'm here to show you a fabulous poster print tonight. Hi Jesse, how are you? Thanks so much for joining, I really appreciate it. I know you've been doing some beautiful work um, I've been really admiring your creations, so well done, that's awesome, keep them coming. Um, so hi Jesse. so um, and the rest of you as well who've just jumped on, I'm showing you tonight the Thai Gold Damask poster print. Um, hi Bev. So I don't know if you guys have seen these poster prints before. Um, at the moment they've only been Aust available in Australia but we're rolling them out globally and there's going to be so many different designs like really exciting designs. It comes in a tube like this and it feels thick it is 180 GSM so if you can picture that it's like um, not like a card but like a really thick paper stock so at least twice as thick as what the paper you'd put in your printer it's photographic quality so the finish is beautiful it has a matte finish i would say it's actually more of um, a slightly satin matte um, perfect for using on furniture on homewares decoupage you name it you can use these you might have seen some of the other brand ambassadors using these um, on pieces of furniture they actually work really well also in the back of furniture so if you've got something like um, a bookcase or something that you can place it in the back of your furniture peeping out that can look really fabulous too hi June thanks for joining me how's everybody's day been um, it's cold it's rainy here we've gone into um, another lockdown in Sydney so you know groundhog day sort of feeling but uh, I guess a good chance to do some more craft projects so that's always a good thing so what I'm doing with this Thai gold damask and I will tilt my camera down so that you can see hi Shelley how are you going I've got a big slightly ugly tray here plain boring you can get these in so many places um, and what I've done with this is I've not painted this bit because this is where I'm going to stick on my beautiful poster print. I have painted all around the sides and I've done it in a black chalk paint. It's Artisan Noir, which is a lovely black chalk paint. And I have um, dry brushed with a coppery goldy colour. I don't know if you can just see, it's not great lighting, but you might be able to see the coppery gold. Um, because the print has got so such pretty coppery gold and it actually goes from a sort of beautiful copper in this corner over to more gold over here a bit like a piece of actual cloth would be you know the damask is that is that beautiful lustrous cloth um, from uh, Thailand and some of the other eastern countries so I think this post um, poster hi Deb Hello. Um, Deb, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this poster to me seems like one of those beautiful damask cloths that you see in Eastern countries. Um, I know that um, my parents uh, who lived in Lebanon for a while had some beautiful damask tablecloths. That reminds me of this. So I'm going to actually now angle the camera down so you can see what I'm doing rather than see me blabbing away. Hi Belinda, how are you? Um, and these poster prints, really straightforward to use. 
So I'm just going to remove my tray for a moment. I'm going to use a PVA wood glue to stick mine on. You can use a mud podge. Um, you can use various glues and so on. It doesn't need to be a special decoupage glue. It just needs to be a fairly reasonably strong water-based glue. So this is the one I'm using. This I found works really well. I have used Mod Podge as well. Both of them work fine. You, need, you just need a thin layer of glue. And I'm gonna use a roller for mine. So I've got my, just my small amount of PVA glue here. Um, Deb, I'm really happy you're watching because I've just been talking about how many poster prints there are and how they're going to be available globally and you might be able to tell um, the people who are watching um, how many we've got because um, the last time I jumped on the website there was just a gorgeous wealth of these and they're such nice quality. Hello Siobhan, how are you? You must be just about waking up having your breakfast. Thanks for joining, I appreciate it so much. So I'm just rolling my PVA glue onto the back of my poster, just a nice layer all over. I'm doing it reasonably thick because um, it's not a delicate paper, it can take it. And when you use these, hi Helena, how lovely to have you on as well. How is your day going? Have you had your coffee yet? For those of you jumping on, I can see a few new people have joined us. This is Sarah McCauley um, from Sarah McCauley Studio demonstrating on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page one of our beautiful poster prints. Ten AM there. Oh goodness, is it already? So I've just aimed to get a nice layer across all of the back of this print. I've also managed to get a bit of dust, which I'm gonna try and get rid of because I don't want that messing up my project. It's going on really nicely. Um, and I'm going to pop it on my tray, see if I can get it the right way up. And I'm just going to position it at one end. I hope you can see this. I'll try not to get in the way too much. I'm going to position it at one end because I'm going to use my magic blue tool to press any bubbles or creases out. Um, most of you who are familiar to this page will have seen this brilliant tool. We use it for a lot of decoupage projects um, and with um, our Lux decoupage papers, our poster prints, our self-adhesive decoupage. These are um, inexpensive on the Aussie Decor Transfers um, website. In Australia, they're $4.95 Aussie, and you just use them again and again and again. So they have um, a felt edge here. I'm gonna use the felt edge. The reason we use that is because it's very, very gentle on your project and will not cause any problem to the surface, but it does help it adhere and it helps get any little bubbles or wrinkles out. So I'm just starting at one end and I'm just going to take my time and smooth it on. The Magic Blue tool, yeah it is so simple, isn't it brilliant? I'm so happy that, um, that Aussie developed this brilliant tool and helped us all discover it. Now I've got a little, I'm, I'm lifting this up because I detected 
a little bit of dust underneath and that's only because that's my fault because my studio has got remnants of chalk paint around I just don't want anything to impact on my design I'm just going to move the camera a little bit forward so you can hopefully see a bit better I seem to be a funny angle as well there we go that's a bit better So where are you all um, located? I know Siobhan, I know Helene, I know Jessie. Um, do let me know where you, you're watching from because it's always fun to um, get an idea of like who's who and um, you know what you've been up to. I think you know one of the joys of this for me is connecting with people from different parts of the world um, who were all into the same stuff, right? We're all enjoying the craft. Okay, so this, as you can see, like this is, this is doing the project by itself. Look at that. It is literally sticking on. I'm not getting any bubbles, any problems. Um, it is just sort of slurping on and I am getting a tiny bit of glue on the surface so I'm just going to wipe that. So these posters have got a water resistant matte finish and it's just gorgeous you can wipe it. Um, I am getting little bits of glue on it I'm not worried at all because it's just coming off as I wipe. And um, you don't actually need, I'll talk you through the, the, the finishing process because you don't actually need to seal these because they're, they've got this lovely water resistant surface. However, because this is a tray and because I'm going to put a bunch of stuff on it, including, um, I'm sure my husband will put a hot coffee cup or something on it. Sunshine Coast Queensland, yay, although today's been cold, 21 degrees, 21 degrees isn't cold, although it can feel it if your house isn't very insulated like a lot of Aussie houses. Um, so I, yeah, going back, I'm going to seal mine with a clear water-based top coat because it's a tray, because it's going to get heavy usage. And I'm also going to show you a little side project which I'm doing as well, which I'm also going to seal. This has gone on so quickly, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, there is one little corner which is wanting to lift up and I'm gonna put a little bit of extra glue under the edge of that, a little bit of this extra PVA. So when you're doing your projects, just keep a little, a little bit of glue or something handy just for those edges that might need a little bit of extra help. Um, because you don't want, you want it to be durable, you want to be able to use these things, right? This is going to be a tray which will get lots of use, lots of traffic from people putting cups and bits and bobs on it. Okay. So that's gone down really nicely. And, and unlike other decoupage, you don't need to, um, don't use your glue over the top of it or anything like that. It doesn't need that sort of Mod Podge gluey bit over the top. So you don't need to do that. And you could absolutely, if this was a piece of furniture, you could absolutely leave it like that. Maybe just seal the edges with a water-based varnish or a water-based top coat, whatever top coat you like to use. Oh, thank you, Jessie, that's kind. Um, but I'm gonna leave mine to dry. I want my PVA glue underneath to be fully dry. And then I'm going to just check my edges, make sure everything is totally, totally locked down. And then I'm going to do a water-based varnish. Now, um, everyone's got their own preference. I use an, um, one from the Artisan Company, which is Aussie based and it's a flat it's a flat coat it's like a flat water-based sealer 
Um, from my pals who use Dixie Belle, they say the Dixie Belle top coat is great. The clear coat, I think it's called. Gator hide is also brilliant. Um, some of the top coats aren't so brilliant on the posters um, because they're not designed for that and they might lift off your lovely image. So um, if you're unclear at all, shoot us a message to the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page or the website because um, some of our experts will be able to help you. So if you've got a top coat, you're not sure, shoot us a message. Um, and we'll help because we want you to get a really good result. So that's my tray. Um, I'm really happy with that. That's like easiest project ever. It looks um, appealing. It looks glamorous. I love the damasky effect. And I'm going to put that on one side because I have another little mini project to show you. Yes, absolutely. It has to be water-based top coat. I only use water-based products anyway, but you don't want anything to mar that beautiful design because it's um, it's really it's a really gorgeous like it, you know print. Okay, so my next project, I did have an idea. I've got these. Um, I'll just um, lift up my camera a moment so I can actually talk to you properly. That's better. Hi Sherry, thanks for joining, really appreciate it. Coasters, these are from um, a craft hobby shop, cheap and cheerful, cork, bit boring, and I thought I would love something to go with the tray so that when you're using the tray, you're having your glamorous drinks, your, you know, whatever it is, your aperitifs, your glass of bubbles, um, you can also use a glamorous coaster but what I didn't account for was that my strip left over from my project this the poster size is A2 um, and I thought oh this is brilliant but the, the bit, bit I cut off wasn't quite wide enough to coat my coasters so anyway that's all right because I'm, I hate wasting anything so what I've done is I have actually cut out some of the design here and I'm going to just tilt you down again. And this is actually heaps of fun for a little project. So I've cut out some, like how pretty is that? Every little piece of this design is just really exquisite. It looks expensive. It looks beautiful. Hi Eileen. Let me know where you're watching from, hun. So my this is my project I'm gonna do next is I'm actually going to decoupage a few coasters. I've done I had four in a pack, so I've done two matte black and I've done two in this sort of coppery rose goldy colour. And I've got all of this that I can cut out and use for decoupage. I'm going to use my same portion of my PVA glue. Hello Rani, you are so sweet to jump on. Do they have this damask um, over in Turkey Rani? I'm just going to show you the tray that I've been working on because I think you missed it. But I know this damask pattern is um, from those eastern countries. I don't know whether it's a Mediterranean thing or a Middle Eastern or more sort of over to Thailand. Um, if anyone has any knowledge, let me know because I just think they're beautiful. So I've got my little bit and I'm going to do some decoupaging. Ottoman, the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, I think you might, I think you might be onto something there. I do have a damask tablecloth somewhere which is really gorgeous. Um, so um, I know some of you are already aware but um, we have this fabulous creative club online, the Aussie Decor Transfers Creative Club and if you join the page there are um, some really great opportunities for sharing your 
artworks and for entering competitions, winning prizes. And we're on the very, very last leg of our June contest, which is the Lux Decoupage Papers. If you've purchased one of our decoupage papers and have used it in a project, you can post it on the page. Um, hello, Dawn, thank you for your comments. And Jesse, I know you've done, um, you've done some lovely things with the Lux decoupage. So the winner will be announced, um, the, end, the competition ends at the end of June, the winner will be announced and that person wins $120 worth of, um, Aussie, Aussie dollars worth of um, product from us. You can choose which product. So I'm just gonna apply some of these to coasters. That's quite cute, isn't it? I mean, this is so simple but I love the way it is just quite eye-catching and quite sort of gorgeous and glamorous. So you've got a couple of days left to play with your Lux decoupage, enter the contest, and as well as winning the product, you get to be um, have the feature photo on the Facebook page for a whole month really good, um, really lovely exposure and a really nice kind of way to um, enjoy your your prize. So these are starting to take shape. I'm just having fun with these. I'm just randomly applying my decoupage and my little pieces. Um, and these will all pull together again I'm going to do my uh, water-based top coat on these to fully protect them because um, you absolutely would want that if you're going to put your hot drinks or you know your cold drinks you might spill wine on them you know some people do that Rani's saying that would look awesome in a little frame on a dresser hey that's a cute idea I like that idea I think once I've done my coasters, if I've got some left from that, that could look quite nice. I apologise if you can hear um, yelling children. My son and his friend are on the trampoline. Um, in the dark, we're in, um, we're in lockdown here in Sydney at the moment and my son can only see his friends outside, so that's why they're trampolining in the dark. So there you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna add a bit to that. I'm gonna keep adding to this. I think I'm gonna work on them simultaneously so that you can see um, that is my blank one, my coppery ones as well. Yeah, I, I think this is a great design. I'm gonna get another one of these and use it because I'm loving it. I think, you could use it um, really successfully on something like a coffee table as well. It would just look so chic, I think. Really gorgeous. So the other thing you may not know about as well is, um, have any of you explored the bargain basement on our website yet? Because there's a whole heap of cool things. Hello, Liz. Oh, thanks for joining. Don't worry about being late. It's very nice to see you pop up. Um, we are doing craft with a poster print. I'll show you. So I've applied the Thai gold damask to a tray. We're doing a glam tray and now we're doing coasters to match. Um, just to show, like you can either use the print in its entirety or you can cut it up. Um, totally up to you. Hi Gloria, thanks for joining. So the bargain basement is um, sort of bits and pieces, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, things that um, might have been very slightly damaged, might have had a little hole in or something like that. But as we do a lot of decoupage and cutting up our projects, um, you get them for a really reasonable price and they're still very usable. So check that out on the website. All of your products, you can, um, you can find all the products through the link above this video. So there's a link to the Aussie Decor website. Have a look. 
I'm using the post to print, but there's also dry rub transfers, which I know some of you are fans of, and um, heaps of other goodies, the self-adhesive decoupage papers, the Lux decoupage papers, um, and there's more coming all the time. It's, you know, it's a company that's really expanding and growing fast, so it's, it's kind of exciting. I love seeing all the new products. So it doesn't show up quite as well on the copper, but I think it's still going to look good. And I'm just wiping as I go any excess little bits of glue, just to make sure. But they adhere really easy. As you can see, I'm not having any problems with anything lifting up. They're very pretty. Okay. Good. Okay, so I've done a little bit on all four. I'm going to keep going. And um, you can tell me what you've been up to today so I don't um, miss out anyone. Um, they are awesome. Thanks so much, Jesse. I appreciate that. I appreciate you all watching. It's really very restful doing this. I'm really enjoying the process. Let me know if you can actually see the coasters. Is that a little bit better? Great. So I had to um, ban my kitties from being in here tonight. I turned on the heating in here. It's warm. There's a big blast of warm air coming out of the aircon, um, the heating, and they both got really snuggly, but they're both really naughty. And I knew that it wouldn't last. And the minute I started doing something really exciting with my hands that they would both come and get involved, probably knock over my tripod, put their paws in the glue. So unfortunately they've been thrown out and they're now scratching at the door, so. So what do you think? Should I keep, go should I keep going with more? Or should I leave them a little bit minimalist? I think I'm gonna keep going a little bit, but I don't want to overdo it either. Hi, Tonya. Have I pronounced that right? I hope I have. Thanks for joining in. I'm Sarah I'm from the Aussie Decor Transfers team. We're doing some decoupage with a poster print. More, says Liz. Yeah, come on then, Liz, let's do some more. I'm on a roll now. Have any of you tried these poster prints yet? Um, I guess they're, I think they're still only available in Australia, but they are being rolled out everywhere. So um, for the Aussies, have any of you tried it? Jesse, have you tried a poster print? They're so easy to use, I love them. I've got another one coming up next week, which is um, really pretty. It's um, a gold, um, a gold bird and gold flowers on a duck egg blue background. And I, I'm a big fan of duck egg blue. So I've got a million ideas already. You could add a little gold leaf as well. Hey, I like that idea. That's, that is a nice idea. I don't think I've got gold leaf. I've got um, I've got some paints. Maybe I could do a little bit of dry brushing, but I do like gold leaf. Hi Kim, how's things? Thanks for watching. I appreciate you joining. Um, if anyone's got any questions, yell out. I'm just getting on with my little decoupage coasters. And it looks like my tray is drying really nicely. And okay, I'll wait till I've done a little bit more of my coasters and I'll show you all of it at the end because some of you who've jumped on won't have seen the tray yet. Yeah, I love duck egg and gold too, Liz. How good is it? 
I think duck egg was one of the first um, chalk paint colours I used and it really got me hooked on, um, on chalk paints. So if any of you um, heard about our challenge yet for July, we're doing the team of brand ambassadors and content creators. We're getting together to do um, several live streams over two days. I believe it's July 15th and 16th. Um, Siobhan, if you're still on, maybe you can confirm. And we're gonna go, we're all joining in a challenge where we'll be against um, several of the other people from the team. The technology, it will be complicated, but I think we'll figure it out. And we're all going to be um, using some of these products on a mannequin. That's that's our brief. We've all got a mannequin or uh, several small mannequins and we're going to be using Aussie Decor products to decorate our mannequins live head to head with each other and I can't wait. I think it's going to be hilarious. Um, I don't know, yet know which team I'll be in. Hi Eileen, thanks for watching. Um, 15th and 16th, thank you. Thanks for that clarification. I think that's you, Deb, isn't it? And you're gonna have a go. Oh, that's really fun, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, it's my first challenge with the team. They all did an appliance challenge back in April. Um, and I, I wasn't part of the team then, but it just looked hilarious. And, you know, just such a good way of everyone showing that they use the product in a different way. Because that's, I think that's part of the fun. You can take these products and you can use your imagination and use them for all kinds of different cool things. Okay, that's going on here. What do you think, Liz? Keep going. You're my, uh, you're my keep going lady. <laughs> shall I keep going or shall I, shall I stop? I think I, I think this one needs a little bit more. I feel like it does. Can you hear those boys on the trampoline? Gee whiz, they're noisy. Okay, brilliant. Yellow, if you have any questions about these poster prints. Um, and do jump on the website. The link is above this video, do jump on because last time I looked on the website, I think there was five pages of poster prints and just gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Big, small, all different sizes. Keep going, Cicely, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna finish up fairly soon. And, um, I think I'm going to stick this little bit on. Lovely. Yeah, I think that works. So um, I'm just going to beam you in to look at the coasters and then we'll, by finishing up, I'll show you the, um, the tray. Can you see those? I think they're really pretty. I'm really happy with those. I've still got this piece left. Rani has told me to make it into a little frame, which I will do. And um, I'll show you the tray. For those of you who weren't here near the beginning, this is the tray. Thai gold damask is the poster print. Such an easy project. This is a cheap IKEA tray. All I did was I painted the edges. I did them in um, a black chalk paint with a coppery, dry brushed finished. Thank you for your comments, you're so sweet. I have um, used PVA wood glue to stick down my poster and when it's fully dry I am going to use a water-based light top coat. Because it's a tray, because it's going to get lots of use, I want to make sure it's fully, fully protected. If I was using this in the back of um, a something like a bookcase where it was but the back and peeping out, I wouldn't bother varnishing over the top. It's not going to get wear and tear. All I would do is seal the edges to make sure they don't lift up. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty glam. These products just do all the work for you, which is good. You just get to play with them, which is fun. Um, 
if you do end up with any questions um, drop me a line make sure you're following the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page it is a fun page lots of product make sure you're in the creative club that way you can see what um, all the cool creations people are making and um, do follow me Sarah McCauley Studio um, and see what I'm up to I teach workshops in Sydney so it's always fun um, if people are around and want to come to those and um, any um, product you want the link is above this video so jump on have a look at all the products and we're here to help so don't be afraid to reach out ask any questions at all doesn't matter how silly I'm still getting to know all the products myself so I'm still asking heaps of questions and just enjoying the process so much thanks guys I'll see you soon bye